channel and welcome if you're new. I am Skye and I'm so happy that you're here for this one. Today I'm going to be sharing seven simple tasks that you can be doing on a daily basis to keep your home tidy. Now listen, when life gets busy, the house gets busy and it can instantly become a state of chaos. And so I am here to share these seven tips that I have found to be so helpful in my own life at keeping a tidy home and keeping those deep cleans further and further apart. For me, I am way less productive if my house is in a state of chaos and forget about any project that might be on my list. I cannot tackle something like remodeling a bathroom or organizing our basement or um, even our playroom or a closet. I don't wanna think about any of that if I am standing in a mess. So these tips today are simple and quick. Some of them only take a minute or two, but I'm telling you, they can make such a difference. I'd like to take a quick moment to thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time. They're changing the meal kit subscription game with options for every lifestyle, including keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. Green Chef offers 24 weekly meal choices per week so you can find new favorites while sticking to your preferred eating plan. Green Chef makes cooking easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you as you follow recipes. Green Chef saves you time by helping with meal planning, grocery shopping, and most of the prep so you don't have to. We have enjoyed some of the most delicious meals we've ever prepared at home with Green Chef. The pork chops and carrots were absolutely to die for. I don't know about you, but we can get caught in a recipe rut. So this has been such a fun way to switch up our meals and give us new and fresh meal ideas. Green Chef has offered a discount code for y'all. You can use code HOME130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. The first few steps that I'm going to share are probably the ones that are going to make the largest impact. So if you have a really busy day and you're not able to fit all of these steps in in one day, no worries. Do what you feel like is most attainable for that specific day. My first tip, and I really feel like this sets the tone for your home, is to make sure you have systems in place wherever you are entering your home. So whenever you leave the house, what door do you enter? Whether that's your front entryway and your main door, or maybe that's your garage and you enter through there and go into a mudroom. Have systems in place. Where do your coats go? Where do backpacks go? Where do shoes go? Have a place designated for each of those and every family member in your household should know and be aware of these systems. So for us, currently, our main entry is the front door of our home, and we actually don't necessarily have like a hall tree or something specific to the entryway for shoe storage and things like that. However, our dining room opens up to our entryway, and we have two sideboards there, and you would never know it, but that is where we store our shoes. And the kids know this, they get home from school, and they immediately put their shoes in there and close the doors and you would never know. Then in our laundry room, we have a big armoire and that is where backpacks and jackets go. So that's kind of our second drop station where the kids head to and then we have sink in there so they wash their hands as soon as they get home from school or really anything that we're doing outside of the home. So make sure that you have those systems in place. If you don't just find something maybe on Facebook Marketplace, something that's used. Maybe you already have something in your home that you're able to designate as a drop station for shoes, coats, backpacks, purses, bags, things like that. Okay, so once you've got that tackled, this is kind of part two of number one, is tidying up the entryway. So I don't know about y'all, but in our house, the entryway tends to be just like a catch-all space, whether it's boxes or mail or bags or the kids' toys. It all seems to just kind of get collected in that main front area of our home. 
So have a tidy up time, whether it's just at night before you go to bed so you can wake up to a clean entryway or it's throughout the day so that it just stays tidy. Don't just drop things right at the front door. Grab your boxes, take them out to the recycling. Um, make sure that the backpacks and shoes and those things are put away and just have a system in place for where all of those things go. But do those daily tidy up checks. As you're walking through, just don't leave that space empty handed and make sure that you have something in your hand, you're grabbing it. Um, a stairwell is another place that tends to kind of just grab things, whether it's towels or dirty clothes or toys or socks or things that need to make their way upstairs. But setting them at the bottom of the steps just feels like a good in the moment thing to do, but I promise you will regret it later. Number two kind of ties into number one, empty your spaces of clutter. So clear off your kitchen countertops, your kitchen table, your coffee table, wherever you tend to gather clutter. Have a spot for mail to go. Have a spot for your keys. Make sure that you have something on the wall to hang your keys or a basket for your mail. Have a spot for your children's school papers. This was huge for me. I have one designated drawer in our kitchen and all of the school papers that I want to keep go in that drawer. And then at the end of the school year or end of the semester, I go through and really decide, okay, do I really need to keep this paper of my child tracing the letter Y? And I go through that way and then they get stored in bins in storage rooms at the end of the year. But during the school year, every single day after they're emptying their backpacks, I make sure that I put their papers in that spot. I didn't do this. I was not in the rhythm of doing this in our old house and papers were everywhere and it was driving me crazy. So I promise this will help you keep a little bit of your sanity, but not only keeping the clutter off of surfaces, but actually wipe them down. I'm telling you, it will make a huge difference to be able to walk into a kitchen or a bathroom that doesn't have toothpaste or mustard smeared all across the countertops. So it takes two seconds. Just make sure you do a quick wipe down after each meal. Again, something that is just so, 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 so simple, but will really make an impact. Number three, wash your dishes and put them away. Now, I'm a fan of a drying rack. I definitely think there's a time and a place. Sometimes you're in a hurry and you don't have the extra three to five minutes to put your dishes away. However, it is amazing how quick this actually is. It seems like it's a time consuming thing in our mind. We just think, oh, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. I've got to do this. But let me tell you the difference that it makes to just go ahead and wash and dry and put your dishes away. It really doesn't add that much extra time um, to, to just put them in the, in the cabinets, put them where they go. Then you're gonna have nice clean countertops with your uh, countertops wiped down. You're not gonna have dishes and clutter everywhere and it really is just gonna make your day go a little bit more seamless. Number four is keep basic cleaning supplies handy. So I'm not talking about necessarily the cleaning supplies that you're using for a deep clean of your house. I'm talking more like multi-purpose Purpose cleaner, maybe some rags, paper towels, disinfectant wipes, things that you're going to be using more on a daily basis just to wipe down surfaces and clean up little spills or things that are on your countertops. Maybe your toilet needs a wipe down if you've got a lovely six year old like I do and he just gets a little messy in the bathroom. So I love keeping those things handy. But in addition to the actual cleaning products themselves, I love to keep trash bags where I can grab them when I need them. This helps me consistently taking the trash out. We have a lot of bathrooms in this house. I think we have five. And so trash is just everywhere. It's all around our home. And it's not always making its way to the trash can if you have young children like I do. So just having those bags handy where I, if I'm in a bathroom helping one of my children do something or we're at bedtime and we're brushing teeth and I notice that the trash is getting full, I can just take it out in that instant and not have to think, oh, I've got to run downstairs 
to the kitchen under the sink, grab a trash bag, go back up. It sounds silly, but when you're in the chaos and in the middle of doing all the things at once, that extra step really feels like a lot and oftentimes gets skipped just for that reason. So have those handy basic cleaning supplies ready to go. Have a bucket maybe on each level of your home if you have a multi-level house that has those basic cleaning needs. Number five, do one load of laundry from start to finish every single day. Y'all, this has changed my life. I've been doing this one for quite a while now. I can't say that I'm perfect. There are definitely some weeks that just get away from me and I end up with six or seven loads that need to be done on the weekend. And that is not my favorite. So doing laundry every single day always felt like such a daunting task for me because laundry is one of my least favorite things to do around the home. However, once I switched to this system, I am telling you, I actually enjoy doing laundry. So we do laundry once a day. Typically it's like one person a day. Sometimes I'll blend the kids clothes together, but separating laundry by person has also been something that I found to be super helpful because it helps that folding and putting away process. It really shaves off some time and just makes it uh, just such a more pleasant experience in my personal opinion. So do the laundry, grab a load, throw it in, run to the grocery store, head off to work, come home, put it in the dryer and fold it. I've noticed it's a lot nicer to fold warm clothes that haven't been sitting in the dryer for three days than it is if you wait, but I'm gonna be real. I've been on both sides. I'm still on both sides often, but this is a laundry hack that has truly been a game changer for our family. And when I stick to it, it's amazing. Number six, make your bed every day. Again, something that I do not do perfectly, but when I make my bed in the morning and I get to walk into my room with a made bed, um, it's a mood booster for me, honestly. I feel so much more productive in my day, and um, it just it's just one of those things. I don't know. I'm sure there's studies out there that have proven that it does something, but it's just a great way to start your day and to not have clutter in your bedroom, which your bedroom is supposed to be like your retreat and a space for you to come to and relax at the end of the day. So make your bed. Number seven is vacuum high traffic areas every day. Now this might sound daunting, but I'm here to tell you what has been life changing for us is is using robot vacuums. Honestly, I think we have three of them, one for each level of our home, which might sound excessive, but I'm telling you, it is so amazing to just push a button, let it do its thing, empty it and be done. I don't even have to be home, which is the best part. But the entryway for us is always full of mulch and sand and things that the kids are bringing home in their shoes from the park and from preschool. And so having a vacuum that can just go ahead and do that for me is incredible. If you don't have a robot vacuum, I would invest in one, honestly. And if you're not in a position to do that, little handheld vacuums, um, honestly, get the trick done. They do the job. They are super inexpensive and easy to use, but just like under the kitchen table, by the entryway door, maybe in the bathroom, other areas that of your home that might be those high traffic areas, just so you're not seeing dust bunnies all over the floor and you're not tracking sand if you're at my house <laughs> throughout the house. I'm gonna throw in a bonus, number eight, and this is just put things away as you go. So one thing that I've started doing, and this habit has been amazing in our new home here, is that I have just not left a room empty handed. So I maybe am grabbing a cup off of my nightstand when I leave my bedroom or um, in my kids' bedrooms, there's always something to grab, whether it's dirty laundry or something that they have snuck up there that doesn't belong up there. Uh, there's always something to grab, no matter what area you are in your home, there's always something to grab. So make sure that you don't leave any space in your home empty handed. <laughs> 
you will be amazed by how much more tidy your home is staying and how less frequently you're having to actually do an entire deep clean of your home. Well, yes, there's definitely a time and a place for those deep cleans, but these tips today that I have shared are really just for everyday living and different ways that you can keep your home tidy as you're going about your day. And that way you're not stuck with this huge mess and you're living in a constant state of chaos. Friends, I hope that you found these tips helpful and that you will be implementing some of them into your day-to-day -day life. I would love to hear down below if you have any additional tips or habits that you have found that you're doing on a daily or close to daily basis that really just have been um, life-changing for you and for your family. I would love to hear from y'all. I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.